the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon video. In this video, I want to have a look at HBO's official new photos from this Sunday's episode. Their official photos give us another great look at what will happen now that Viserys is dead and the Greens have the Iron Throne. As you can imagine, Rhaenyra, Daemon, and everyone on their side will have to be smart about how they engage their enemies moving forward. Now, they could rush right into the city with their dragons ablazing, but that doesn't always work out how you would think. Like we saw at the end of Game of Thrones, they could end up losing everything they were hoping to gain. In order for Rhaenyra to get the Iron Throne without losing everything she loves, I think she will need to sharpen her mind and intelligence, and I know exactly how she can get that done. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Now, for those of you who don't know, Brilliant is a website and an app that helps you learn different subjects like math, science, and computer science interactively, which has been perfect for me as a hands-on learner. Brilliant is the most convenient way to expand your knowledge and challenge yourself on your own time. Learn a little every day and have a huge impact on your brain's longevity. I spend 30 minutes a day on Brilliant with my morning coffee rather than on social media and it really gets my mind ready for the day and I've really learned to love challenging myself to learn something new. Brilliant has thousands of lessons with new exclusive content added monthly. There is literally something for everybody. You can find everything on Brilliant from basic algebra and graphing all the way up to college level content such as neuro networks and calculus. You really don't have to spend four years and a fortune to master this stuff either. Now, since Brilliant is interactive, you will manipulate simulations and answer questions every step of the way. If you get stuck, there's always helpful hints and full explanations. Understanding STEM can help anyone level up. I was able to take the data science course and I learned a lot that can help me evolve my content for all of you. Now more than ever, the world needs more smart people and understanding the science behind a problem is always the first step in solving it. I strongly encourage you to get on Brilliant and challenge yourself. Now, to get started for free, all you have to do is visit brilliant.org slash Talking Thrones. The first 200 of you to use my link will get 20% off your annual premium subscription. Once again, I would like to thank Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Alright, now let's look at these new official photos from HBO. In this first new photo, we can see Allison is standing beside her husband's dead body. As we all know, Viserys died in the last episode after suffering from his illness for well over a decade. Now that he's dead, we should see his daughter Rhaenyra ascend the Iron Throne since we all know he made her his heir. However, that's not what's going to happen in the new episode. Since Rhaenyra was back on Dragonstone when this happens, it gives Serato and Alicent a major advantage because they want Aegon sitting on the Iron Throne next. And so long as Rhaenyra isn't there and she's unaware of her father's demise, she won't be able to stop them from sitting the crown on Aegon's head. We all know Serato has always wanted Aegon on the Iron Throne, but now Alicent does as well because she believes this is what Viserys wanted right before he died. If you remember in the last episode, Viserys thought he was having a conversation with his daughter Rhaenyra about Aegon's dream of a Song of Ice and Fire. This is something we have seen Viserys and Rhaenyra discuss all throughout this first season. Allison did not realize what Viserys actually meant in that moment. Now she believes her son Aegon is meant for something much bigger than them, so she will also ensure he sits on the Iron Throne before Rhaenyra. As soon as Serato finds out Viserys is gone, he will have King's Landing on lockdown. He does not want anyone finding out what happened, so he will make sure no ravens are sent out to the other great houses, as well as making sure all of the servants are locked up in the cells under the Red Keep. It will ensure Rhaenyra does not find out about her father before they're ready. In HBO's official video, they show Rhaenys has been locked up inside of the Red Keep. Ser Otto will not only want her silenced, but he will want her allegiance as well. We already know he wants the Valyrian fleet on his side. In the last episode, he was hoping he could gain the Valyrian fleet by making an alliance with Vaemon Valerion, but we all know how that ended. We also see a lot of the servants getting locked up. Now they won't be able to spread the word of what happened in the castle. In the official video released by HBO, we see some of the lords who were already in King's Landing bending their knee before Ser Otto, who is standing in front of the Iron Throne. He is making sure he has their allegiance before he moves forward. Then, we will see him hold a small council meeting where he will say, the door will remain shut until we finish our business. Ser Otto will want the line of succession handled immediately. He obviously wants Aegon on the Iron Throne, 
but there will be at least one of the members on the small council who disagree with him. In one of HBO's other new photos, we see Lord Beesbury shouting at the other members. He does not want to stand beside Sir Otto and Alicent while they have Aegon skip over Rhaenyra in the line of succession. His allegiance to Rhaenyra will cost him greatly. As you can see in this scene from HBO's video, Lord Beesbury is already slumped over while Sir Kristen Cole faces off against Sir Harold Westerling, who happens to be his Lord Commander. It seems Sir Harold Westerling does not want to stand with them either. Sir Harold will leave their service and this is how Sir Kristen Cole will end up becoming the new Lord Commander. As we all know, he is now ride or die for Alicent Hightower. Now, in the meantime, Sir Otto and Alicent will be searching for Aegon who was not in bed with his wife when his father died. This will force Sir Otto to have other men of the Kingsguard out looking for Aegon in the streets and back alleys of King's Landing. In the other new images, we have seen the brothers of the Kingsguard, Sir Eric and Sir Arik Cargill, dressed down in rags while they're on the hunt for Aegon. Once again, Sir Otto will want this done in secrecy, which is why they're not wearing their Kingsguard armor. It also seems they will have Aemond and Sir Kristen Cole searching for Aegon as well. This does look like Aemond is discussing something with Sir Kristen Cole in the photo. Now, the reason why I think they're also looking for Aegon is because we see Aemon wearing the same hooded outfit as the other Kingsguard men while they're out walking through the city. In the new photo HBO released, we see Aemon again, in the back alleys where the sex workers are located. We all know this is where they will most likely find Aegon since we know he likes to sleep around with various other women. In fact, he's having so much fun, it looks like he might even be fathering bastards of his own. Again, in HBO's official video, we hear Lara Strong say, I found out something you should know, while they show a small boy who has the Targaryen's famous silvery white hair. It would be very ironic if Aegon is out fathering bastards while Alicent is angry at Rhaenyra for the same thing. We have already seen Alicent give one woman some moon tea to help get rid of any unwanted bastards, so I would not be shocked if Aegon has had a son by someone else. Eventually, one of the Cargill brothers of the Kingsguard will find Aegon. We see him running after him right here. Now, once he's back inside the Red Keep and he learns of his father's death, Alicent and Serato will convince him that he should take the Iron Throne for himself. It also seems they will be holding his coronation in this Sunday's episode. Not only did they show Aegon the Conqueror's crown sitting on a small green pillow, I might add, but they also show all of the small folk heading for the Dragon Pit in King's Landing. If you've read Fire and Blood, then you know this is where Aegon's coronation will be held. Unfortunately for Rhaenyra, her father will have been dead for many, many days before she ever finds out. And when she eventually does, it's already too late. The Hightowers will have full control over the city and many allies while Aegon is on the Iron Throne, ready to defend it with his life. Once again, this should make for one hell of an interesting and exciting episode. All hell is about to break loose now that Viserys is no longer around to hold everything together. Now his daughter and his son will fight over the Iron Throne until they nearly wipe out their whole house. I know I cannot wait to see how everything comes to an end in this first season. Let me know what all of you think down below. Let me know if there's anything I'm missing or overlooking. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.